Good morning from the United Arab Emirates where I'm currently roasting my arse off at about 45 degrees driving through the desert and needing to cool down. Uh, you know what it's like guys when you need to cool down? You, you think of water don't you? You think of drinking it, you think of oh a nice wee dip in a swimming pool, something like that. Well your man's going to take it one step further. I'm going to go check into a water themed resort. Atlantis, Atlantis in Dubai, the Palm. Let's make our way there. But first actually I need to make a pit stop. Gotta pick up some supplies. Supplies acquired. What, you didn't think just because I'm going to go check into a nice resort, a nice expensive resort, I was going to pay mini bar prices, did you? Oh no, oh no siree, no Scotsman ever paid mini bar prices. <sighs> well, if you're wondering how much fuel costs here, it's 1.8 dirhams per litre, which is about 40 pence about two and a half times less than it is in the UK. Plus the guys here, they, they fill it up for you. Right, We're approaching downtown Dubai now. See all the big buildings and stuff. Probably about 10 minutes away. I'll be at the Palm. Well, I'm on the Palm now, which is this island, this artificial man-made island where Atlantis is. Right ahead, you can see it. This is the monorail on the left here. So, just about there. Fantastic. Can't wait. Check in. Check in? Yeah. Main lobby, please. Main lobby, yeah. Okay, so there's a complimentary valet service, which is pretty decent. Okay, nearly ran this woman over. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, mate. Right, mask on. Okay, fantastic. No, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. Ah, oh, stupid mask. I hate wearing this thing. Uh, I'm hot enough as it is. 45 bloody degrees. Okay, temperature. Okay, good. Okay, well, that's me checked in. Apparently, I'm on this east tower. And apparently I've got an upgraded room. So, trip's getting off to a good start. Oh, right in the lobby of the tower, this big massive fish tank with sharks and stingrays and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, let's get to the room. Hi. Yes, 15th floor. Yeah, 15th floor. The green light is going up this way. Okay, thank you. Okay, 15th floor. Is that one of the top ones? Well, it goes up to 22, so it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Right, let's check the scarf out then. Oh, well that's nice isn't it? The carpet kind of aqua, aqua themed. As you would expect at bloody Atlantis. I'm going to put this down weighing an absolute ton. I'm pretty sure this bag, <laughs> this bag of goodies weighs about the same as the rest of your man's luggage. Oh, right, let's have a look at this gaff. That's nice isn't it? Big bloody bathtub. Look at the bloody size of that. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a proper bathtub. That video I put up uh, recently, the one from the Oberoi in Kolkata, I had a bathtub in there, but it was nowhere as big as this, was it? Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna fill that up tonight. Is there any, uh, I'm sure they have all the amenities, all the bubbly soap and stuff. Look at that view, guys. Oh, wow, okay, I'm gonna check that out after checking out the, uh, the bathroom. Let's have a look. Anything special, what are these cups? Oh, environmentally conscious paper, paper cups. Uh, well, there's a scale. Let's see how much your man weighs. Let's do it. 77 kilos only. I'm fading away. What has this quarantine done to me? I hope this place has a gym and some good steak bars. <laughs> okay, well, a nice overhead rain shower, all the rest of it. A nice Rob Hugh Hefner style. Be doing that tonight. Uh, okay, I'll just check out the view. 
or the rest of the room. A nice big flat panel TV. What's that? Like 50 inch Samsung. Looks like kind of the latest model as well. Look how thin it is. That's nice. I guess these rooms have probably been refurbished because this hotel is definitely older than that TV is. Uh, a nice desk so I can work tonight from a laptop. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, lovely. What a piece de resistance. The bloody view from the 15th floor off the palm, Jamira. Wow, look at this. Isn't that incredible? I don't know if you can see right in the distance there, that's the Burj Al Arab. Probably the most expensive hotel in this city. And that's one of the pools down there that your man wouldn't mind having a wee dip in right now. Aye, I reckon I'm going to settle in here quite nicely, quite nicely indeed. So this room, nice, big, spacious, bathtub, view, computer desk, a lot, everything I need. Oh, apart from the minibar, let's see how much money your man's going to save actually. Where is the bloody minibar? Surely they've got one. Let's have a look. Maybe it's, uh, i seen there was a wee section here. In fact, I've had a look in here yet. It's just a wee cupboard. Uh, there's a section here. Okay, I guess it's in here. Oh, guess what? There is no mini bar. There is no bloody mini bar. And actually, I do remember now, I do remember when I was booking this hotel, I was looking on the website and they were telling you about all the safety regulations to do with the Rona, you know, all the ways they were keeping safe. And one of them to reduce the amount of uh, contact points or whatever was to take away the mini bar items. So there's no mini bar items in the room. So I feel even smarter now. I feel even smarter. Not only am I getting some cheaper minibar items and minibar items that I actually want, but I'm actually getting minibar items that I wouldn't have had at all. <laughs> so I feel even smarter now. What's this? There's a wee amenities kit here. Uh, what is it? Oh, I think it's like masks and stuff. They're actually providing you with, uh, either providing you with disposable masks and gloves and wipes and more gloves and hand sanitizer. A wee, uh, a wee Rona kit there. Fantastic. I'm more interested in the wee mini bar. Oh, let's have a look at what your man brought. What delights, what treats. <laughs> First of all, the soft drinks. Basically any sugar-free soft drink that I could see in the supermarket. I bought Pepsi Lime, Pepsi Black Lime, three calories. Some Diet Right. I think it's an American Diet Cola that I've never tried, so I'm going to try that for the first time. Oh, the favourite, the Coke Zero. What else? Oh yeah, the 7-Up Free. And it's not sugar free, but they do have it. It's the Iron Brew. Wow. <laughs> How many countries have I been to where they sell Iron Brew? I can think of, maybe I found it in Thailand and I found it here. I think that's the only two countries I've ever found Iron Brew outside of Scotland. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that's actually one benefit of the UAE. Well, it's actually a disadvantage and an advantage of the UAE is that about 90% of the products in the supermarket are imported. Not a lot is made here. There's not many factories making breakfast cereal and biscuits and stuff like that. There are a few, but not many. So when you go to the supermarket here, uh, you can find all your favourites imported from America, Britain, uh, other countries. There's a lot of French uh, products in Carrefour. Uh, so that's advantage. The disadvantage is it's bloody expensive. That one can, <laughs> you can see here how much a can of juice normally costs. And I think there's, some of them have prices on them, right? I uh, hear two dirhams 50. But this one imported, this was I think six dirhams 50. So that's the, uh, that's the disadvantage, isn't it? And what else? Some, some wee snacks, banana oat bar, Twix. Staying healthy, fairly healthy guys, fairly healthy with the oat bars and stuff, but then you've got the chocolate there and when you eat the chocolate you might as well eat the best stuff. If you're going to indulge, you might as well get the good stuff. Godiva, 72% dark, fantastic. And what else? Some sweet potato chips. Use those of you who are uh, watching this video only to find out about Atlantis. <laughs> I wonder why the Scotsman showed me all his snacks, right? I found these uh, premium filled dates. I was looking for stuff that's Emirati, some Emirati products, and I found these. When you think of Emirati food, you think of dates, don't you? You think of dates and these premium filled Emirati dates. What, is it, what are they filled with? Orange, caramelized pecan, and roasted almond. So I'll be sitting on the balcony, my Coke Zero or my Iron Brew, munching dates. I'll enjoy the view of the palm. Uh, it's just steaming up the lens. 
But the uh, mirrors are steaming up. <laughs> That's the heat and humidity. How, how long have I had that bloody uh, door open? And look at the state of the mirrors. I can't even see myself. Whoa. Right. Um, aye. Uh, I also found these more dates. Uh, date energy balls. So it's like dark chocolate and date paste rolled up into wee balls. And what else I found? Can you f probably think of anything more Emirati than this? Some camel milk, date flavour. <laughs> Some date flavoured camel milk. It's uh, pasteurised camel milk with natural date syrup. So only two ingredients, so pretty healthy. I've had camel milk before and I thought it tasted pretty sour, but then I've seen this and I'm thinking maybe the, the sweetness of the dates will balance out the sourness of the camel milk. So uh, I'll give this a try. I'll give this a wee go. Okay, so this is how a mini bar is supposed to look. Oh, all the favourites. Oh, all the bloody favourites. And it's actually lucky that this mini bar was empty because it's one of these computerised mini bars. You know, one of these ones where as soon as you take the drink out, the sensor goes off and it automatically charges the item to your room. So actually, it's quite fortunate because I got stung by that before in Vegas. When I did that, I took everything out of the mini bar, replaced it with my own stuff, and it was on my bill when I was checking out. Luckily, they reversed it. <laughs> And uh, how much is the juice normally here? Juice, Coke, 30 dirhams, 30 bloody dirhams. Well, it's 250 in the supermarket, so you're talking 12 times the price. What's that? That's like six pound British. It'd be eight US dollars for a can of Coke. Uh, <laughs> no thanks, no thanks. Your man will buy his own. I wonder who actually pays that? Who pays 30 dirhams for a bloody can of Coke? Maybe some people because I guess they need their supermarkets on the other end of that bloody bridge, but uh, still, Plan ahead a wee bit. <laughs> Bring your own Coke Zero. And yeah, this room, there's no menus. There's no, you know how normally you get a folder with all the hotel information. And this hotel is a resort, so it's massive. There's a lot of information. And room service menu and stuff, that's all gone because of the Rona. They don't want stuff that you're touching, that other people are going to be touching stuff. So they've just put everything on the TV. So uh, things like the parks open, the water park opens at 9 a.m. and you can collect a wristband. Uh, what else? I want to have a look at the dining menu. So there's some celebrity chef restaurants here. There's Nobu. There's some Gordon Ramsay thing. Uh, Gordon Ramsay Bread Street. And there's some Ronda Lakota or something like that. I've never heard of. Uh, a few a few things. There's a few things. Um, the buffet dining. They've closed all the buffets because of the Rona. That's like buffets are illegal in the UAE right now. And yeah, let's have a look at some of the... Aqua Venture. That's uh, that's what I'm looking forward to doing the most. Let's have a look. General information. Right, so it's all these big water slides and stuff like that. There's one, it's like a tunnel that goes through a shark tank. So I've actually done this before. I've stayed at Atlantis in the Bahamas and I've done, I guess it's like a clone of these rides. So uh, yeah, it's not a unique experience for me, but a fun enough experience that I want to do it again, this time in Dubai. I'll see what's different between here and uh, the Bahamas, but you can see here all the big. Uh, I've done a couple of them before. I'm pretty sure I've done one of them in Bali at the Water Bomb, at the Water Bomb Park. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, time to go out and explore. In fact, I'll, I'll explore the I'll explore the resort a wee bit. I think I'll take a good walk around and just see what's here. All right, where's the big swimming pool? The big one. Sorry. The big swimming pool. The big swimming pool. Swimming pool? Yeah. Straight to La Vida Australia. Okay, thank you. Okay, well your man's dressed for the beach. What the flip-flops on. I never feel good wearing flip-flops. <laughs> Even these ones that I've got on, the ones with the straps, better than the ones with the actual thong. Uh, I still feel like I'm wearing bloody clown shoes when I'm wearing them. And yeah, it's awkward enough when you're vlogging without feeling like you're walking like a clown at the same time. <laughs> Makes it feel even more awkward, but never mind. Okay, so he says it's to the left, out here. Right, so that's the one I've been looking down on from my balcony, the massive swimming pool. So hopefully I can get a bed there, chill. Did I bring a can of juice? I think I might have brought a can of iron brew in my bag. I don't know if you're actually able to bring your own drinks into this section or not, but 
I guess I'll do it and see if they complain. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, can I have a towel on the bed, please? Sure. Towel on the bed. I want to get set up. Okay. Yeah. Right. You can take this. Uh, this one here? Okay. Shaded area. Good. Thank you, thank you, my friend. What's this? A green and white towel? Oh no, oh no. Oh, wait a minute. That's better. <laughs> That's much better. So, there's this little thing here. If you want service or your bill or whatever, you can just push this button and someone will come. You don't have to get up or whatever. So that's nice, but you don't need service and you don't need a bill. If you bring your own drinks. <laughs> oh, 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 sneaky, sneaky. I'm actually not sure about the rules or not. I'm pretty sure places like this, they don't like you bringing your own drinks down to here. They want to sell you the 30 dirham cans of juice. No, your man will just enjoy his orange nectar, which I'm pretty sure they don't serve here. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been like three years. Three years since I've last been in Scotland. So that's three years since I've last tasted the orange nectar and uh, it's as good as I remember. Oh, wow. <laughs> so good. I will get this consumed and then I'll go for a wee dip. Mm. This is nice, doesn't feel like 45 degrees anymore, but you're in this nice pool. A nice wee bit of a breeze as well. Probably wrecking the audio, but never mind. So my room is probably about there. It's on this tower. And you can see just how big this hotel is. Not quite as big as the one in the Bahamas. This is basically a clone of the main building in the Bahamas, the Bahamas Atlantis. But uh, the Atlantis in the Bahamas it also has an extra two massive buildings. Uh, some extra luxury rooms. Um, that I remember from when I stayed there like six years ago. So not quite an exact clone of the Atlantis in the Bahamas, but uh, the most important thing that they have cloned, that they have copied from Atlantis in the Bahamas is that this place has Nobu. It has a, a famous Japanese Peruvian fusion restaurant, which is amazing. I've actually ate at Nobu in the Bahamas and in Milan and just amazing experiences. So I've made a booking for 6 p.m. tonight, which is in like three hours time or two and a half hours time. So uh, yeah, best way to enjoy gourmet food is to work up an appetite before you eat it. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do some lengths. I don't know if I can do lengths or would you even call them lengths and be curves? I'm gonna do some lengths at this pool uh, to work up an appetite. Uh, trying to avoid all the obstacles, all the kids that are splashing about and stuff like that. But uh, hi, it's just nice to be somewhere where uh, <laughs> you don't have to be wearing a mask or anything like that. Because right now, the law is even in the hotel, you have to be wearing a mask until you actually sit down on your chair. You have to be wearing your mask and stuff. So uh, it's just nice to see in these times, in these times of the Rona, all these people out enjoying themselves, splashing about, enjoying the sunshine and stuff. Feels normal. Feels, feels fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my lengths, and I'll see you guys later. So I think I was the only person doing actual legit swimming in that pool. Everybody else is just splashing around. Anyway, I've noticed over the edge of the swimming pool was a wee beach there. I guess it's a wee artificial beach. I wonder if that's proper sand or if it's just straight out into the sea or whatever, but I'm gonna go check it out right now. Down this way, I guess. Here we go. Hardly anybody here. This is a lot quieter than that swimming pool. Maybe the water's bad or whatever. I wonder why that's so packed, but there's nobody at the actual beach part, you would think. Anyway, I'll, uh, can I just sit anywhere or? Or what? Do they have to disinfect it? I guess if they've got the towels down and stuff already, that means it's been disinfected. So I'm just going to put this down and then jump in, see what this water's like. Is he stopping them going in? I don't see anybody actually in it. Maybe he's... Hello? Allowed to go in or no? Yes, uh, there's jellyfish. Sir. There's jellyfish. Ah, that's the reason. I wondered why nobody was here and everyone's in the pool. Okay, jellyfish. No worries. 
back to the pool, I guess. <laughs> So down here there's all these electric catamaran, paddle boards, kayaks, banana boat and all that. I wouldn't mind doing a wee bit of kayaking out here. I wonder if that's forbidden for the same reason as the jellyfish or whatever. This place seems absolutely deserted. Uh, maybe I could ask in here. Hello. Uh, I was wanting to ask about the kayaking. Kayaking? Yeah. How much is it? Normally, you're staying in the hotel? Yeah, I'm staying in the hotel, yeah. 120 dirhams for 30 minutes. Uh -huh. But we have a 20% off for the hotel guests. Okay, good. It will be only 96 dirhams. Ah, okay. How long is it for? You say 30 minutes? 30 minutes. But we can give you like 10, 15 minutes extra. Ah, okay, good. Okay, so uh, I can start that straight away, right? I can do it now? Okay, I'm going to go to my hotel room and get my chest mount for my GoPro. So, yeah. And uh, can you show me the kayaks that is? So these ones here, is it? Let's have a look. Double kayaks and single kayak also. Ah, okay. It's these other. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, and wh where is it? Is there a set area or can I go anywhere? I can't just oh, walk. Stay, uh, stay in front of the hotel area. Stay in the hotel area, but I can go visit the other side or anything uh, like that. I cannot get down, but uh -huh. we can go close to the beach. So. I can go close to it. Oh, okay, that'd be good to, to go there and come back. Okay, that'd be good. Where are you from? From Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka? Oh, good. I've been to Sri Lanka. I've done kayaking in Sri Lanka <laughs> and crocodiles in Batakaloa. They had crocodiles. They have a crocodile. Yeah. Course, yes. And I still did the kayaking. Yeah. But we don't have a crocodile unfortunately, but we have sharks. Oh, okay. Where are you from in uh, Sri Lanka? Uh, from uh, down south. Down south, yeah. uh, Marissa or uh, somewhere? No, no, Bentota. Bentota, ah, okay, nice area. Nice beaches there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to go to my room and get my chest mount for my GoPro because it's going to be, I'm just thinking logistically, how do I kayak and vlog at the same time? It's got to be with the chest mount, isn't it? So. I'll do that, I'll cover myself at 110 SPF. <laughs> that is actually what I've got, 110 SPF. I'll cover myself in that and then I'll go and do half an hour's worth of kayaking as I talk loudly over this copyrighted music. Ah, here's a model of the hotel. So that's the swimming pool that your man was just at. Looks like there's another massive swimming pool right around there. Should probably check that out. And where was I? That's where I'm doing the kayaking. Uh, about here or something. So uh, yeah, time to get back out. Have a quick glance at the uh, aquarium. Look at this, pretty spectacular, isn't it? Some of these manta rays and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh. So, I'll probably check out the proper, I'll probably check out the proper, this stupid mask. I'll probably check out the proper aquarium um, after I've done the kayaking, if I've got enough time. It's like 4 p.m. just now, my reservation at Mobu is for 6 p.m. Okay, now I'm prepared. Got my hat, glasses, covered in sunblock. I'm all good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a dry bag as well. AliExpress special. Hi, how are you? Hi. We'll do kayaking. Kayaking, yeah. 30 minutes. Are you going to charge it to my room or do I need to use my credit card? Yeah, I got a deposit on my room. So it's 20% discount, right? So normal price is 120, but I'll be getting it for 96. Okay, good at maths. <laughs> okay, sure. Thanks. Oh, okay, great. I'll take it in my dry bag. Okay, that's good. Yeah, then I can put the GoPro here and that would be cool. Okay. Cam? Yeah. Say hello. Tell everyone tell everyone to subscribe to the Dale Phillip video blog. <laughs> that's you. Ah, okay, so you don't work for Atlantis, it's another company. Yes. Ah, okay. Outside All company. the water sports are an outside company. Yeah, ah, okay. My company CV. But Atlantis, they must take a big commission or something like that, right? All your guests are coming from Atlantis, right? Atlantic guest, outside company CV. Ah, but it's an outside company. Ah, who owns the company? My CV. Yeah, but who's the owner? Who's the big boss uh, for the company? My boss, guest, Gast. Gast. This uh, Emirati yeah. or uh, yeah. Emirati? Ah, okay. And he hired the staff from where? The, your friend from Sri Lanka? Are you also all, from? All from Sri Lanka. All from Sri Lanka. Ah, okay. All from Bentota or other places? place um, this uh, Atlantic uh -huh. uh, 
Hotel, yeah. uh, Sabil Sara. Okay, so the different companies, the different hotels, they are all coming for your water oh, sports yeah. here. Ah, okay, I understand. That's pretty good. Yeah. And where are you from? You from Bentota or in Sri Lanka? Where are you from? Sri Lanka. Yeah, but where? Where in Sri Lanka? It's a big, it's a big island. Yeah. You from the south, the north, the east? Colombo? I call it Colombo. Colombo, you're a Colombo person. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. Okay, I will, uh, I will make myself comfortable. Glasses? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put the glasses on and the dry bag, I will do, how do I do this? I do this, I think it's like, one, two, first, first you push out the air, and then, like this, and then I can attach this to, ah, okay. Leave these here, I guess. Okay, so everything's secure. The dry bag, the Coke Zero in the water, easily accessible. And uh, got the chest mount on for the GoPro, so that's nice. Glasses, hat, covered in sunblock, perfect. Now, just nice for a 30 minute paddle about in the ocean. Okay, so I just jump on. Shall I? Let's... Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's just paddle it. Uh, this yeah. paddle you use there? Yeah. Mm. Let's paddle this side. So I, I twist it every time, right? Every time? Yeah. Show me. This? Yes. Me? Uh huh. Yeah. Very good. Uh huh. This side? Yes. Very good. Uh huh. Very okay. Side. This? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. like vertical. Yeah. On this side, yeah, the curved side. Yeah. Okay, yeah. This? The concave side, yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Then push it up like this. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This? Uh huh. Front. Yeah. This. And then the other side, I twist it and I have to make sure this concave yeah. part is pulling down on the water. Ah, okay. okay. That's the most efficient way to do it. Okay, good. Okay, great. Okay, fantastic, my friend. Thank you. Okay, I'll paddle see out. You. Okay, see you. Enjoy. Okay, oh, you give me a wee push. Yeah. Just give me see a wee you. push. Okay, bye bye. bye <laughs> see you. Okay, looks like I'm the only person doing this. Fantastic, it's gonna be nice and peaceful. I'm just gonna get out right into the middle. Well, he told me not to go past the bridge, but I wanted to have a wee look. Right here, that's the Aqua Venture, if I can steer with this thing. That's the Aqua Venture, the water slides and stuff. And this is a new building. I think it's called, going to be called the Atlantis Royal Residencies or something like that. It's going to be like big, fancy, expensive apartments. Probably like a million bucks at least, maybe two million bucks at least for an apartment there. And I think it's going to be partly hotel as well. So that's kind of cool. You know, Atlantis in the Bahamas, it has the cove and all that, the extra building. So that's going to be the extra building for Atlantis. In Dubai, there is the Burj Al Arab over there. Don't know what any of this stuff is. It looks like a wee mall or something like that but your man is just going to paddle all the way here. There's no boats, there's no nothing, there's nobody else kayaking. I've got this whole bloody uh, part of the uh, Palm Island ocean to myself. <laughs> this is fantastic. Right, let's go for a wee paddle then. I've got the hang of this already. Aye, brilliant. I don't have to worry about any crocodiles like in Batacaloa, do I? Oh, I do see the jellyfish actually. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't flick any uh, I don't accidentally flick any into the kayak. That'd be a bloody disaster, wouldn't it? Oh, that's a noise you like to hear, isn't it? Mm. Ah, so this is nice, nice and peaceful. Apart from over here where they're blasting out some kind of loud party music. I'm pretty sure that is an actual party pool. A pool party? A pool party, yeah, it's a pool party. With all the douchebags showing off their six packs, the, uh, everybody getting drunk, that kind of thing. Not my scene at all. Basically for the same reasons that I hate nightclubs. It's basically a nightclub during the day, isn't it? So I'll be staying away from that. And uh, I think from now I want to go paddle over here and just have a look at this. I'm pretty sure it's a mall or something, but it looks dead. What does it say? I'm trying to read the writings back to front. It says the point or something. Okay, I'll go over and have a wee look. I'm just worried about spilling this Coke Z, but uh, I think I've got no other option than just to consume this, because uh, <laughs> otherwise it's going to spill. Right, I'll get it tanked. 
Aye, so I'm pretty sure this is the big mall. There's Starbucks, a few other things. Maybe I'll come here for my second dinner. I am having dinner at 6 p.m. at Nobu, but then I'm probably gonna be hungry again at 10 p.m. And considering all the restaurants in there are gonna be pretty expensive, I imagine I'll be dropping like one or 200 US dollars on dinner at Nobu, probably for my second dinner. I might uh, just come to some wee eatery here and spend maybe 20 bucks. <laughs> anyway, I've seen there's other people kayaking. The first other humans that I've seen out here. Should I socially distance myself, guys? Or should I go have a wee chat with them? Let's go and say hello. Hopefully it's not like the video I made in Batakaloa where I tried to go and say hello to the fishermen and I ended up crashing right into them. Let's see if we can say hello. Hello, hello! <laughs> Good, how are you? You burnt yet or no? You burnt the sun? No, man. no me? I'm from Scotland. Difficult for me. <laughs> yeah. And you? You you a local or you local person or you vacation? You are local? Ah, where are you from? From Dubai or another Emirate? Dubai. From Dubai. Ah, okay, good. Me? I uh, I'm staying in Atlantis. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I got one of the the best view rooms, so that's good. So you just yeah. So you're not staying in a hotel. You live here, right? Ah, okay. So you just come to do kayaking. Ah, Saturday. Yeah, it's your day off, right? Ah, okay, good. It's nice. I'm just trying not to get burnt. I'm covered in the sunblock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm from Scotland, so uh, this is we don't have weather like this in Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> don't have weather like this at all. Yeah. Okay, thanks my friend, thanks. Oh, wow. This mall really is dead, isn't it? This is a Saturday afternoon. And look, completely dead. There's one wee family there. But the rest of it, there's another couple there. But, eh, uh, oh, you imagine this would be somewhere that would be packed. I wonder if this is due to their owner. I wonder if it's done a real number on this mall. What is this? Is this somebody's private residence or what? Is this somebody's mansion going right out onto the beach in the palm? I don't know, it looks like it, doesn't it? There's just one door and some deck chairs and stuff like that. Am I allowed to even get off? I think the guy told me not to go too close to the beach. I guess this is a private beach for whoever lives here. Some guy who is probably a bloody billionaire. <laughs> if that was your house on the bloody palm in Dubai, how much do you think that would cost? How rich do you think it would have to be? That can't be a bloody house, can it? I guess it has to be. There's no signs or anything that looks like it's apartments or a hotel. That is one bloody house that's gone straight out onto this uh, private beach. Very nice. Aye. These definitely are private villas. Massive. Incredible. <laughs> one day, guys, one day. But well, your man's doing PewDiePie numbers on YouTube. <laughs> well, the Coke Zero did survive. <laughs> it's just tasting a wee bit saltier than Coke Zero normally tastes like. That's the problem. Anyway, your man's getting out of here. I'm burning to a crisp right now. Let's do one. Back into that hotel. I think the aquarium is the best plan right now. I'm pretty burnt, but it was good. Enjoyed it, had fun. Oh, how long was I there for? I wasn't counting the minutes. How many minutes was I in for? No, no problem. I think I definitely went over the half hour. It's probably like an hour or something I was out there. But I, I seem quite casual about it. No problem, good. I like this style, casual. It's good. Actually, actually this one 30 minutes, one hour. 30 minutes, one hour, yeah. Uh, it's a video, no problem. Ah, okay, thank you. You're very kind. Sri Lankan people, very good. Okay. Very good, Sri Lankan people. Okay, I'll get my stuff. I'll get a shower in my room, and then I reckon check out this aquarium. Oh, absolutely roasting. I think it's going to be air-conditioned in here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow, is this one of these things that you stand on and it shoots you up? Ah, oh, I've seen one of them in Finland, in Helsinki. Oh, how much does that cost to do that? Must be expensive, right? What? Yeah. Wow, that would be pretty cool. Old jetpack. Yeah. 
It's 450 for ah, okay. 10 minutes. For, for, for uh, 60 minutes is 400 and 30 minutes is 290. Oh, it's the the fly boarding. Oh, it's fly boarding. Ah, 450 for 30 minutes. Yeah, it's reasonable enough. And you get the discount as well for the uh, hotel guests or no? no? Not only on the uh, manual things, not the motorized, the non-motorized. Okay. Okay, good. Ah, oh, that was fun. <laughs> Enjoyed that. And what are these things? Here, that's for uh, wakeboarding or? Yeah. Uh huh. Ah, okay. So what pulls you? For You have a cable or it's for, on the boat? You have a boat, ah. I heard at this hotel they can get the dolphins to pull you as well. <laughs> Somebody said that, the dolphins can pull you. You can't use the dolphins because you need much power. Ah, okay, yeah. So it's uh, wakeboarding, ah. Huh? I did wakeboarding once before in Manila. It wasn't, it's a, it's a steep learning curve, right? The first time you try it, you're gonna fall almost every time. I think it took me like 10 times and then I stayed up for like maybe 15 seconds and then that was it. Yeah, I think it's like surfing where it's like steep learning curve and then after you learn it's, it's good. Oh, is this a video of it? Okay. So that's motorized? Yeah, it's motorized. It's called e-foil. That's the e-foil. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I might try that tomorrow, actually. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, see you maybe tomorrow. What's your name? Lachan. Okay, Lachan. My name is Dale. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Yes? Oh, I'm forgetting. I'm wearing a life jacket. <laughs> I'm not the first person to do this, right? People have done this before. Right, so I've kind of abandoned wearing this mask. I mean, there are some other guests not wearing it. Some guests are when they're about the hotel. I mean, you're supposed to have it on, but it's just so uncomfortable. Like your man right now, I'm sweating, I'm covered in seawater and stuff like that. But I'm going to put this bloody mask on and it's just going to get soaked. It's going to be wet as soon as it touches my face and then it's useless, isn't it? It's not doing it any good. So, uh, yeah, just being sensible about it, really. Right, uh, back into the tower and up to my room for a wee shower. Well, I'm not actually going to visit the aquarium until after dinner because my dinner reservation is in about five minutes. I was losing track of time. It's almost 6 p.m. Just sitting here, uh, hopefully not spoiling my appetite. <laughs> this is actually going to save me money. Uh, bloody Nobu is expensive, but I'm trying out these uh, date balls, dark chocolate and dates. And I was just looking at the ingredients here because I had one already and uh, it tasted natural, you know, it didn't taste overly sweet or whatever and they don't add any extra sugar or anything in it, it's just date paste, oats, almonds, peanut butter, coconut oil and cocoa powder. So uh, a very healthy natural snack and locally produced, whatever country you go to you should try and buy some of the local stuff. It's a little bit difficult in the Emirates but uh, if you like dates, no problem, <laughs> lots of date products. Mmm, and see here. Loads of bits of almonds, oats and stuff through it, so uh, that's quite nice. And not expensive either, just about the same price as a bar of chocolate as well. And uh, this Diet Right, the first time I ever tried this, this American drink, this tastes like, in Scotland we have these fizzy sweets, these little chewy candies called fizzy cola bottles or something, you would buy them from the ice cream van. Uh, it tastes like them, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like a natural Coca-Cola, it tastes like a a candy version of coke, <laughs> which is still quite nice. Right. Anyway, noble reservation in five minutes. Good. Well, I just enjoyed two hours in Nobu trying the seven course tasting menu plus dessert. <laughs> it was fantastic. I'm probably going to make that a separate vlog though. Uh, I think there's enough content to make it a separate vlog and there's a few problems. They're playing copyrighted music the whole time. The room is pretty dark. It's going to take a bit of editing before I can get it ready for YouTube, guys. But uh, aye, that uh, Lost Chambers Aquarium apparently is open until 9pm. So I'll go and do that just now and include it in this vlog. Looks like the pool's still open at 8pm. So uh, aye. Enjoy a bit of nighttime swimming. I don't know when that ends. But uh, aye, this is nighttime view. You probably can't see much on this stupid action camera. <laughs> but never mind. Right, let's go to the aquarium. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm paying $240 a night for this room. I don't know if I even mentioned it. But uh, aye, that's how much I'm paying.
Hi, my friend. Hi, I'm good. How are you? Thank you very good. much. Good. Nice yes, I'm looking for the lost chambers. Lost chambers? Yeah. Just go straight, turn left, you find the left and right. Okay, fantastic, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay, so I can use this uh, next day to Water go to the yes. Aqua Venture. We'll come back again tomorrow here. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so let's make my way through here. Okay. Lost Chambers. I wonder if Lost LeBlanc has ever been here. If he did, he probably didn't come here with a, a bloody GoPro trying to make a vlog in the dark. <laughs> He probably used some fancy camera equipment. Look at this. We're going around with them. It's amazing. They're all going in the same direction, aren't they? Every single one of them all going around in this uh, anti-clockwise <laughs> circle around this thing. Incred. Right. Let's get into the aquarium proper. Oh, wow. Look at you. Aren't you a funny looking thing? I've no idea what any of these things are. I probably should have done a wee bit of research before coming to know about these fish. I was assuming there's going to be signs or something like that, some pictures. But, uh, no. In fact, what is this? Oh, I think there's some app. There's some app. I can't be bored with it though. It's just too much hassle, isn't it? But uh, if you guys know what any of these things are, you can write in the comments and let everyone know. Look at that, docile. Just chilling. Sorry, I think I'm ruining some of these. I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty good at. I'm pretty good at ruining people's vacation photos. <laughs> these look like many wee uh, jellyfish. Aye, that's right. Every every part has one of these things, one of these uh, QR codes. So if you want to find out what the things are, it's just a wee bit hassle, isn't it? I don't know if I can be bothered. <laughs> Oh no, it's the wee, the wee mini, wee mini jellyfish, mini ones. Okay, and these ones, these are wee mini pink, pink jellyfish. <laughs> I don't know if they're pink or if it's just uh, they have some kind of light lighting them up. But uh, oh, you can get this close to a jellyfish <laughs> without getting stung. Very nice. Uh, Please limit the touching of any surfaces. Oh yeah, because of the Rona. The cost of the Rona. It's this a colourful wee butt. Let's have a look. No, oh, these are tiny wee fish. That's why it's this wee window, isn't it? Because these are wee miniature fish. I'm pretty sure I had some fish like that when I was a wee laddie and they lasted about three days before they bloody died. <laughs> but see, these are the kind of fish you could have at home, couldn't you? If you had a home aquarium, you could probably have some of these. I've no idea again, but most of them are. They just look very tropical. All sorts of different colours going on here. And I guess that's coral that they've put in. Don't know if it's real or not. It looks, it looks real, doesn't it? Look at that one there. You are an ugly bastard. <laughs> Is that not the ugliest damn fish you've ever seen in your bloody life? You, mate. I, <laughs> I think he's heard me. He's coming over to have a go. He looks well hard. Never have a fight with a guy that looks like that. Nothing to lose. <laughs> He's coming for me. He's bloody coming for me. He's helped me. You want some, mate? You want some? <laughs> I'll give it you. You want some? I'll give it you. Look at these wee spikes coming out of his bloody uh, eyebrows. Uh, He's definitely... He's definitely got his eyes on me. Look, I'm coming this way. And then if I go this way... No. He's scared. I've scared them off. Bye bye, mate. <laughs> that was a funny wee encounter, wasn't it? Right. Oh. What's over here? Wow. I thought that was a bloody snake or something. Oh. What is that? Some kind of eel, I think. I think it's some kind of eel. the way they slither. Very cool. Right, which way now? More tropical fish. Stripies. Let 
And these, I think, are lobsters. I don't know why the light's red. Maybe they like the dark, and this is just one way of lighting them up without disturbing them. But these, uh, they look like lobsters. Oh, there's a big one there. That would be delicious. How much would that cost in a restaurant in the bloody, uh, the bloody Atlantis? <laughs> Double that for your dinner. A couple hundred bucks, I reckon. I'm sure it tastes delicious. Right, uh, some more of them there, just hiding. I guess they like the dark. It's a big one there, you probably can't see it. Right, oh, another big fish tank there. Look at that, it's a big stingray right there. Oh, soaring, there's loads of them. Let's get a close look. There you are, look at that, wow. There's another fish flying, I think it's a shark flying on top of it. Look, they're buddies. They're buddies. <laughs> That's so cool how in the uh, Atlantis Aquarium, the different species of fish, they're making friends with each other. I wonder if that occurs naturally in the ocean, if they just pal around like that, two different species. <laughs> it's pretty cool though, isn't it? All right. And these wee fish, I bet they don't even get any attention. There's all these big sharks and stingrays and all sorts flying around. These guys probably get overlooked. I'll give you a wee bit of attention, mate. I'll give you a wee bit of attention. Aye. Only a wee bit, though. Right. Oh, look at the tail on that. That would sting you, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Let's have a look here. Probably more wee ones than this one. What's going on here? Oh, starfish. Very cool. Loads of them. Wow. Look at that. Oh, big bully of a shark. Now, there are a couple of rooms, a couple of suites available at Atlantis that uh, the wall of the suite is actually like this. It's an actual wall into the, uh, the aquarium. And the only thing is those cost like probably like three or four thousand dollars a night, but they are available. They are available if you're that rich. You could have a wall full of sharks. Look at that, look at the bloody size of it. This one here, that's the biggest one I've seen. Right there. Wow. Magnificent, isn't it? And you, you look very grumpy. What's wrong with you? Are you fed up with all these tourists? Are you fed up with all these guys tapping the glass? A right grumpy so-and-so. <laughs> oh, that's his dad. That's his big grumpy dad right there. Look at the size of him. <laughs> grumpy old man. Right. Oh, and this wall over here is very well lit up. This will be good for my camera. You might actually see something now. <laughs> it says, do not cross this line. Okay, I'll stand uh, here in the middle and pan around. So these are just loads of wee fish and a separate wee aquarium. It seems like the weir fish, the smaller fish, <laughs> trying to speak the Queen's English, the smaller fish are more colourful, they're more tropical looking than the big fish. The big fish are just grey, aren't they? They're just big and grey and badass and dark. Whereas the wee ones, they're cute. Look at you. Look at all you wee cuties right there. These are the kind of fish you want to have in your home, isn't it? Uh, all these ones are kind of congregating, like they're having a wee meeting. Like they're having a wee pals get together or something like that. I think it is true. I think the different species of fish, they just, they can communicate and they get along and they're all pally and stuff when they're not eating each other. <laughs> Bet these wee guys are happy they're not in the same tank with the bloody sharks. Aye. Look at these ones here. Purple ones. Fantastic. Oh wow, look at these ones, the black and white stripe. Newcastle United. 11 players right there. <laughs> Mon the tune. <laughs> oh wow. Fantastic. And these ones, very flat looking. Wonder how evolution has made them so bloody flat. You look like you've been under an iron press. <laughs> you look like they've been under a bloody iron press. Wow. I wonder, uh, yeah. I just wonder what these are and what evolution. Probably if I, if I scan this, it'll tell me. Maybe I should actually do it. Maybe I should actually bother to do it. Okay, one time, guys, one time. 
Okay, well, I figured out how this QR system works now on Google Photos. Uh, I had a trouble in Nobu, and Nobu they had the menu was in a QR code, and uh, I ended up having to get them to give me a bloody physical menu because I couldn't figure it out. But I figured it out, and now I know that this fish is called a batfish. This one here. And is there information about it? So zoom in. It says juvenile batfish have the ability and the natural camouflage to mimic floating leaves. Aye, so I guess if there's any big bad sharks coming to eat them up, they can resemble, I guess they just lie on their side and resemble a leaf for defence. And the sharks just leave them alone. Uh, they are found in natural reef habitats of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Well, that's interesting. So if there's any of these fish that I want to know about, in fact, this is only six of them. So that QR code is for six different fish. Uh, aye, okay, I'll do more exploring. Okay, I just downloaded another PDF, it's this one. I was wondering what that ugly one was. It's the, called the Queensland Grouper, that one there. The grumpy one. And what's it saying about that? It's saying it's one of the biggest species of grouper and it can reach a maximum size, or well, actually weight, it should say weight, a maximum weight of 400 kilograms and live up to 40 years old. Until somebody catches it and turns it into sashimi. Okay, I reckon I'm gonna get out of here. Guys, where is the exit? I think maybe here? Low, okay, this is the exit, good. Okay, so, uh, the aquarium is nice. It's probably something I'll do every day while I'm here is just have a wee wander through that aquarium. It's like, it's something that even though you've done it before, you can enjoy doing again, I think. Just standing, watching the fish swim about. It's nice, that's why people have aquariums in their house and stuff, isn't it? Anyway, uh, back to my room. Just gonna chill and I reckon I'll end the day with a nice hot bath, I reckon. Well, with just a couple of clicks, I've managed to mirror this laptop screen wirelessly to the TV screen in the room. Fantastic. This is easily the best hotel TV I've ever had. Ever, ever. <laughs> right there is the SPF 110. You guys thought I was joking, didn't you? It actually exists, SPF 110. I think it's actually the American numbering system. I think SPF 50 and everywhere else in the world is 100 in America. It's like... Americans like to do things differently, don't they? So I've got this bath running, found these, some bath salts. I'm going to chuck them in, I'm going to line the bath, catch up on some YouTube, and call it a day. The uh, change that has happened in the past week since I've been here is that uh, the local businesses have started requiring people to wear masks inside some of the stores. So. Uh...